Hello, on this video we want to show you how to create a polygon on Drone Deploy. First thing you have to do is to open your Drone Deploy account. Once you are in your account, you will get this uh, welcome screen where you can go to all projects or you can create a new project clicking on the project button. Such a way you will get the area where you are, and you can go exactly where when you want to fly by typing the area. Let's say San Justo in Santa Fe, Argentina. It moved to San Justo City, but nearby there is some swamp, so you can zoom out in order to locate your swamp. You go to the place where you're going to fly, and you can zoom in in order to locate this rectangle over the area where you want to prepare your your polygon you can go to create project here and a new screen show up with the name of the project let's say we call it lagoon 114. so you keep continued and you have created your project now, doing map and models, you can create your fly polygon. As you can see, this is a very improved definition for a 3D model, but by clicking on Enya's 3D, you can go to a simple 2D model. Now we have two hectares flying five minutes. Uh, we take about 80 image and an altitude of 60 meters. By clicking on, on the corners, you can change the size and shape of your polygon. As you can see, we now have a much more bigger screen, but again with the two with the four corners. But we can add more corners to get complicated polygons by clicking on the plus corners. As you can see, we change the shape of our polygon. Right now, we have about 28 hectares to be flown in 44 minutes, but we have an altitude only of 60 meters. We can improve our altitude to get uh, a better resolution of, of the battery. So, because we will need, we will get much less time to fly if we fly 100 meters instead of 60. Now we have the same area, but only would take 16 minutes to fly. We can also create or import our polygon or, or shape from uh, other programs. By importing it, we will have our polygon on the right place when it show up. By clicking on advanced button, we can move to special settings. For example, we can change which camera we will be using. And we can go for a Phantom 4 Pro camera, which is what we're using. And we're gonna have the proper time and row path, actually path separation by Clicking in automatic setting, if we remove this option, we will be able to change our front overlap or side overlap. If you change front overlap, you will only increase speed, but that is not uh, very recommendable. I, I would suggest you get it about 70% and no less than that. But side overlap, that is a, a tricky question because it is good to get about 60% in order to get 3D model, but because we want to have a 2D models by having about a 50%, we can have the path separated away a little bit more, but our time fly would be much more reduced. Now we have the 28 hectares to be fly in less than 10 minutes. Again, uh, you can 
change the position of your flying by clicking on the cross and you can put it exactly where you want to go and adapt the last position. Now we have that we will fly about 50 hectares with only 15 and a half minutes and it will produce like 262 image. So remember by going from overlap you will reduce uh, how much one photo is repeat in the next one. So 75% is good to join all the pictures together. By side overlap, if you get 50 to 45, it's okay for a 2D model. So hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.